Pray yourself, guys. This is Chris Fagan with T3 Medias, and I'm about to give you my review. No, no, my binge review. This is the binge. Like a little recap of the latest episode of The Mandalorian, Chapter 2, The Child. All right, now, like, before I get into that, I want you to just remember, if you haven't come to subscribe already, hit that subscribe, that like button, share, and uh, think about, you know, becoming a, a patron as well, so you can get more content that you wouldn't be able to get right here on YouTube, and let's, uh, let's just get started right now. Look, now, before you start thinking stuff like, oh, this is clickbait, you know, that thumbnail and all that, why, why are you talking, why are we talking about, like, the, the, uh, the Fallen Jedi uh, video game that's coming out? Look, this episode, right from the beginning... I, they already had that uh, that uh, that old west feeling again. That, that first fight scene when he's protecting a little baby Yoda, and I think that's officially what we're calling him right now, baby Yoda. You know, you you you've gone through all this crap, and you're just trying to get to the ship, get the thing, the mission done, or whatever he's planning on doing with baby Yoda. Before you guys get into it, like this is clickbait. What's going on with that thumbnail? You know, the, the Jedi video game that just came out today with this episode. He's not in there. Blah blah blah. Look. I'm gonna get into it. Like, don't, don't start before you start blogging. Uh, look, today is the the day that you know that video game came out, and then you know the Mandalorian uh, chapter two episode dropped. That couldn't have been a coincidence. There there has to be a connection. Now, I hope you are already a member of Disney Plus and you've already seen the episode. I'm gonna get into some spoilers on this this uh, this binge review. Right? I just finished the episode. I'm gonna talk a little heavy uh, here, guys. But the connection that I'm making isn't based on characters that are in the game I haven't bought it yet, I haven't played it yet, or characters that are in The Mandalorian that might cross over. Now, even though the timeline seems like that, that can be uh, a thing, maybe, maybe, maybe not, but what I'm seeing is how this episode, I'm talking about the episode itself, it felt like a video game. Like, the second, you, where you get to that first fight, with uh that group now i'm sorry i can't remember the name of that that species help me out guys tell me the name of that, those lizard people right i can't i'm sorry for forgetting the name of that species but then you get out after that fight then you immediately are you get back to your ship and the jarwins are have stripped you they just they just they put your your car on blocks they got the rims they're gone they took the radio they took everything they're gone and that chase uh, seen to to get in there. I thought I, I swear I thought I thought Mandalorian was about to do it. Disintegrating folks. They didn't know what to do. They scattered it. That that sound effect. I love those. I love Jarwin. I love those guys. And to to get all the way to the top, it felt like it was that was like a stage a level. Like chase down the Jarwin's uh, vessel and get to the very top and complete the stage. Do, 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 pulling Jarwin's off. And just get it all the way to the top just to fail. I was like, oh man, they gonna shoot him and boom. It was hilarious. I love I love the sense of humor that this show has. We get to our boy Crow. You're like, well, you know, they don't destroy him. They they stole that shit though. Man. Well, if you wanna get it back, we will have to go down there and talk to him. You're like, talk to him? And they get stole from me. From me. You know, well, well, how do they know that you weren't dead and you just didn't abandon that shit, my You know, like you know, you know, they talked about so you know they talked about some logic in there, man. You know that whole conversation lasted longer than when, than we really saw. Uh, you know that it wasn't really stealing it; it's finding. You know what I'm saying? You know, just 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 like some stuff that would be going on if this was the hood. You know, ghetto, ghetto, ghetto stuff, right? Come on, it's it's just that logic. Ghetto, ghetto. it's that logic, but. The funny thing about that whole situation was how the Jarwins were still, you know, understanding. They're like, hey, we don't like this guy. You know, put his weapons down and all this stuff. But, but we about, we all about that paper. We about what we want. What do you got to trade? You know, can you, can you get us this? No. Can you give me, uh, uh, can you give me the kid? Not the child? No. Dude, you stole from me. Why am I talking to you? I'm alive. I only left my ship. I went to the bathroom, right? I went on a bathroom break. I came back. You stole my my stuff. I mean, I just I just couldn't believe it. Then it was like then it, this is when it really turned into a video game episode. You want to get your stuff back? Uh, you have to trade something. Go out and get us the egg. I'm like the egg. 
The egg, of course, and of course, it's it's being protected. Whatever this egg thing is, is being protected by a uh, a big uh, you know mama bit rhino uh, uh, like creature. And it's another level. It's another level. You, you want to you want to advance to the next level? Get us the egg, and you'll get you'll complete the stage, and you'll get your stuff back. I'm like, why aren't you just shooting these people right now in the face? But he continues on with the game. He goes in. He goes. He fights the the, the rhino mama monster. Gets the uh, egg. But before he before this dude this 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 monster this rhino mama monster had him dead to rights. It was done. And then what everybody suspected because I'm pretty sure that Yoda species is extremely force sensitive. And of course the child is blessed with. Uh, uh, the, the the abilities of, of having the force and I thought we were going to get further into the chapter being called the child because I thought that egg was going to maybe hatch now me and uh, Jason yesterday we got into a bit of a disagreement it's like everybody thinks that this thing is force sensitive because that that carriage that, that he was floating in wasn't making a noise it was using the force to hover, make it hover and I was like no I don't think so no and he said this these, these theories that was going around I'm like no man I mean, I'm like, I was, I, could, I wasn't buying that theory. I was like, really? I was thinking like, Can you, prove it, come on. you gotta, you gotta prove this to me, right? There's, there's no way in the world that, uh, that maybe, but I don't know. I thought I heard something, but in the beginning of this episode, you can clearly hear that, that, that vessel, that little carriage was being propelled by an engine or something, some kind of technology. Maybe he was controlling it. Sometimes it was. Uh, it was self-propelled. It was an AI or whatever, follow the leader kind of a situation. And sometimes I think maybe the baby was making it move and keeping up and things like that. But I think, but I could clearly on this episode, you can clearly hear a humming noise that uh, that proved that that the force wasn't being used to make that thing float. Because he would have questioned it even uh, harder uh, on that. So I, I knew that was technology, or it was, made, it was purposely made to make us think this way or the other. Then. When we saw the baby lift the mama uh, rhino monster, mama monster, and put him down, and totally, obviously wasted all of his metachlorians and just passed out, uh, and, <laughs> and then, uh, and and then after then one shot to the face with a knife killed it. I mean, I, I thought that was weird. That was lame, kind of. I mean, that thing is huge. You can stab a, a monster like that with a blade, unless unless you severed some kind of an artery or something. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? But that seemed like a cheap way to end that fight. But what was more cheap than that was the jar ones were like, thanks for the egg, this furry egg. That was weird how huh? this was like a duckbill platypus kind of a creature, right? With this furry ass egg. And they just chopped it up. This is like a Easter cranberry egg, right? Just tore it up. <laughs> whatever man so they finally completed the stage and completed his mission now the only reason why i'm all stuck on the whole video game thing is because of how this thing played out you got the video game that's dropping today and you got an episode of star wars the mandalorian that played like a video game i feel like they're telling us that 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 these two characters might cross paths now maybe you guys have already started playing the game and you've already figured this out and maybe that's what's happening Maybe that's, that's maybe that's what's happening. I mean, maybe that's not what's happening. But I'm thinking that somewhere down the line, maybe not this season, maybe the next season, these two characters could probably meet. I mean, it's very rare that you'll have a Star Wars movie and you don't see a lightsaber light up. Will we get to the end of this season without ever seeing a, a lightsaber? I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. I, I, well, I'll, I'll put it like this. I'll be shocked if we get to the completion of this series and never see a Jedi. It's just, it's just, I feel like they're telling us something with the whole, with the video game coming out, the episode uh, dropping on the same day, every, everything Star Wars, this, this, this episode played like a video game. Go, it's, the subliminal message was Disney like, go play the game, execute order 68 buy the new video game enjoy yourself then we will have peace okay, you promise, 
I don't know. Man. Maybe I can prove it. Maybe I can't. Maybe I won't. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Did you, do you think there's a conspiracy here with the video game dropping today? The, the, this episode playing like a video game kind of a, a thing? Are they sending a subliminal message? Just go buy the game. Fulfill your destiny. I mean, I just feel like that's what's going on, man. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Put it in the box. Hey, until next time. Hey, remember, come a like, uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and become a subscriber. Support us on any level that you that you want. I appreciate you. And until next time, guys. Hey. Peace.